In today's very special episode, I unbox a huge order of essential oils and go over which ones I absolutely recommend and love. We also follow Kill along on some errands, including handing off a package for a local customer. All of that and more in Vlogmas Day 15. No! No! I left these out overnight. That is like one of the worst feelings in the world. Today, I'm going to pretty much be working on orders, orders, orders. These are the orders that are all ready to go now. We have one for local pickup that I'm gonna be meeting up with one of our customers later. I've gotta print off these shipping labels right here. This one I still need to make one more product for. There's a couple more order sheets over here, a few more over here as well. And then there's another one. Oh, and let's not forget about the lip balms from last night that I still need to label. Hey guys, wanted to interrupt this vlog for today's earrings. Do you guys like jam? I do, which is why these earrings are the freaking cutest ever. They're little jars of jam. And here's the matching earring with the cuff. Life is too short not to have fun earrings. Kale has been doing such a great job vlogging, but I'm gonna give him a break and take you guys down with me because I ordered a huge essential oil order from New Directions a couple of days ago and I've been waiting to unbox it for you guys so you can get a sense of what it's like to put in these giant orders to suppliers and maybe relate to the fact that it just seems like so much money and why this is a necessary evil sometimes when you're in the business. Heading down the soap dungeon. Here it is. One thing about New Directions is that they are very good at their packaging. I used to live about a two hour drive away from New Directions, so it was super convenient for me. Whenever I ordered, I would just drive down there and get my stuff but now that I no longer live in Ontario, I just have to ship things in now from Toronto to Calgary. But interestingly enough, the essential oils are still cheaper for me to do it this way than with any other method. If there are people in Calgary that know of a cheaper way, please let me know, but this is the only way I know how right now. So I'm going to unbox this order and show you everything that I got. Here they are. <laughs> Interesting packaging material. I like that New Directions uses a lot of paper. You can definitely reuse this in your own packaging if you have a soap business. It's what Kayla and I do all the time. Let me free all of the oils from their paper wrappings and then I will show you everything that I got. <laughs> ran out of a lot of my essential oils all around the same time which is a good and bad thing bad thing because I know I'm about to spend a lot of money on my business and a good thing because I can order them all at once meaning that that high shipping cost that I'm gonna have to pay will pay for a lot of things as opposed to buying just three of these or one of these or two of these at a time so it's a pros and cons thing. I think it's worth it in the end. But when this order came, I thought it would be a good opportunity to talk to you guys about all the essential oils that I recommend if you're thinking about using them in your soap products and your other bath and body products, because it could be so overwhelming looking down that giant list when you're buying stuff from New Directions Aromatics or any other soap supplier. Here's a quick list of my essential, essential oils. See what I did there? I'm actually gonna do this in order from the one I recommend you get the most and maybe the least important. I'm not really good with words today. So I'll start with the big guy. This big drum of essential oil is Lavender 4042. And this is the second time I've ordered a big drum like this. 
I use so much lavender in all of my products. When it comes to the products that I sell, that scent tends to be the one that sells the most consistently. So if you're contemplating essential oils, I highly recommend you start with Lavender 4042. It's a scent that a lot of people really like, myself included. And in terms of affordability, this one is on the lower end when it comes to price range. So it's definitely accessible for beginners, those wanting to experiment with essential oils, but not necessarily wanting to start a business selling bath and body products. Lavender is probably your safest bet. I highly recommend you try a citrus essential oil, and my favorite one to use is the orange fivefold. Why fivefold? Citrus essential oils don't necessarily last very long in cold process soap, but you can extend the life of your citrus scent by using an orange fivefold. I think lemon also comes in fivefold, but what that essentially means is that the strength of these is five times more than that of just a regular orange essential oil. And after lavender, the citrus essential oil scented stuff is the next best selling stuff when it comes to my essential oil products. And if you're gonna pick one, definitely go with orange. It's the one that blends the best with other different kinds of essential oils. Citrus essential oils add that bright, energizing note to essential oil blends. And a lot of the times you can hide it in your blend to add a nuance to the scent. It's not overpoweringly that scent, but when someone smells something that you include a citrus note in, they won't know exactly what it is, but it's something good. <laughs> My second favorite citrus essential oil is lime. I adore lime. Lime essential oil is super energizing and super bright, and it smells kind of delicious. <laughs> Maybe it's my love of margaritas. I don't know what it is. There's just something about lime. Another very popular citrus essential oil is grapefruit pink essential oil. This smells exactly like grapefruit. And the scent of grapefruit is a little bit more citrusy and more floral than orange. I feel like orange is very sweet, like an actual orange, whereas the grapefruit, it's more refreshing. I bought grapefruit essential oil a long time ago, early on in my business and I ran out of that essential oil and I have been missing it ever since. So when it came time to buying more essential oils to restock, I put it into my cart because I definitely want to play with this more. I love, love, love grapefruit essential oil. And then last is lemon essential oil. And I like to add lemon in different types of products because it just adds that brightening note that you're looking for, that clean, fresh note that I feel a lot of people search for in Bath & Body products. I decided to grab the Lemon Fivefold because I wanted to try making soap with it to see how long it actually lasts. I don't think I've ever tried just a citrus scented soap. I've always been too afraid to for fear that it would be a big waste because it loses its scent in a couple of months. So it'll be something to test. And that's why I grabbed all these citrus essential oils because I really wanted to know just how fast a soap scented in these, in, this, in just citrus essential oils, how fast that scent fades. So after citrus, the next type of essential oils I suggest you invest in are the ones that add that base note, the ones that are deeper and more earthy. My favorite is patchouli dark. For my patchouli customers, this patchouli dark essential oil is one that they love. It also comes in patchouli light. I'm not exactly sure the difference between the two, but I like the smell of patchouli dark. And another base note essential oil that I recommend is cedarwood. And this one is one that is sought out by a lot of people. It's a deep, woody, musky scent. And this paired with my lavender is so soothing. People love it. The one I got is Cedarwood Texas. There are so many different kinds. And I recommend if you are gonna buy your essential oils from New Directions, take the time to read all of the reviews. And that's what I really like about that website is that there are so many reviews from soap makers, candle makers, different crafters, and they all talk about whether or not a specific essential oil is good for a certain type of product. And the last essential oil that I purchased is one that I don't know if I recommend to you guys because I don't know how popular it would be. It's more niche, I guess. And that is pine scotch essential oil. And this was one that I bought because of my husband. Kale loves the scent of pine. I wonder if it's because he's from Washington and Washingtonians love their evergreens. But to make something special for him, I invested in some pine scotch essential oil. And I got the idea to blend it with another fragrance oil that had vanilla tones to it. And the two together created a very unique scent blend that I don't think you can find anywhere. And my customers love it. They love it. It's my Muskoka Woods scent. It has pine scotch in it blended with another fragrance oil. It is so, so popular. Honorable mentions. Some honorable mentions that I also recommend. They're not out here because I didn't have to restock them just yet, but I really love rosemary essential oil. That one is, oh, 
I love it. It's so soothing, so earthy. Peppermint essential oil. I like the Japanese peppermint type. And eucalyptus. But don't get the lemon eucalyptus essential oil. Have you smelled it? Let me know if you smelled it in the comments. But it's nowhere near as good. It smells very weird. I don't recommend. But I'm super glad this shipment came because I am almost out of my pine scotch essential oil and I need to make Muskoka Woods bath bombs. So this came right on time. I'm gonna go ahead and whip up a batch of those and show you guys what they look like. Here are the finished bath bombs. I actually accidentally, uh, this still happens even after thousands of bath bombs later, I accidentally doubled the amount of oil I usually do <laughs> when it comes to my bath bombs. To compensate, I added less alcohol and the mix felt less silky, for lack of a better word. Felt just a little bit slightly drier and a little crumbly, but it's still pressed perfectly fine. You can see here are the rosemary mint bath bombs that I pressed a couple days ago and they are now loose from their bath bomb tray. There is footage of Kale struggling to <laughs> pull these up. If you find that your bath bombs are stuck to the tray, leave them in there. Don't force it. You will break them in half. Ask me how I know. But these are going to have to dry over 12 hours or so and then we're going to paint some mica paint on them, which we'll show you in tomorrow's vlog. Here we are again, back at Chit Chats. Today, I actually brought all of our packages in a box, so I'm not almost dropping them halfway across the parking lot on my way in, so I'm gonna go bring those in. All right, now I have to go meet up with a, a local client to do a local drop-off. So I just met up with Krista. She's very nice. She let me know that her and her boyfriend have started their own bath bomb endeavor. And I think this is one of the most favorite parts of the job is getting out there and talking with people, talking with our customers, talking with other creators, other makers, and just interacting with them because it's just so much fun. It's that personal human interaction that I crave. It was great meeting her and I wish her luck. So I'm here at the grocery store. I still hate that I left those ribs out, but ribs were on mine, so I picked up some of these. Dinner time! Jerrica and I love broccoli. Jerrica, I think it's so weird, likes the stems. Like she'll eat the florets also, but I always make sure to cut off some stems for her. Oh my god, this looks so good. I know you were upset about leaving the ribs out last night, but this is this is perfect. 
I personally love boxed ribs and if you've made it this far in the video let us know in the comments what you guys prefer if you like the boxed quickie ribs or if you prefer making ribs from scratch and if you like making ribs from scratch then let us know in the comments a link to that recipe because we want to attempt it at some point point. and if you guys want the Muskoka bath bomb recipe that is on my patreon which is linked down below and speaking of my patreon thank you to my patrons you guys are so sweet kind and generous we appreciate your support so so much especially these guys the bubble bffs if you want to support kale and i by becoming a patron you can do that there's a link in the description box below but we're going to close out the vlog here and enjoy this dinner. Thank you so much for watching. And if you want more Vlogmas fun, there's another nine days to go. We're gonna keep going and subscribe if you wanna keep following us on our Vlogmas journey or even on our soap journey. And until the next one, keep smiling, keep being awesome and keep making beautiful, amazing things and have happy holidays. Bye guys. Good night. <laughs>